Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! It's me, Cooper, and today we're going to be going into free duel for a very important reason. We got more human characters to duel now, and I want to give them my best shot. So we're going to start with Viper here. Viper is going to be an interesting one. We got Viper, we got Tyranno, we got lots of people that I think I can beat with if I'm not using my Master of Oz deck because that deck's only focus was fusing. And don't even get me started on the Venom deck. <laughs> that deck, they, they only had one purpose and they did, their, they did their jobs. Now seeing as this is a Venom opponent, I'm guessing if I use Marauding... Ca oh, what the? Oh, did not want to do that. I was trying to press something else. Okay. Um, whoops. All right, you know what? We're gonna set you. No Venom cards can beat you after all. We're gonna hold on to Marauding Captain because if they get Venom Swamp early, it's a waste of uh, Marauding Captain's time. Like I said. Right, there we go. Let's see just what they hit us with. And yay, I did get one of their better reptile monsters out of the way. And it's not even going to the grave, so they have no value. Now, even if they have damage equals reptile, I have nothing to be afraid of. Oh, they have not. Ooh. Well, you got Venom Swamp, and that's one of the best things you can pull. So, right now, I need to take advantage of the fact that Command Knight buffs my monsters. Because it buffing my monsters is the only reason we're going to be able to keep one <laughs> on the field for a little bit of time. So, let's hope this works out. And next turn, I'll go for game. I'm supposed to have a Marauding Cat in my hand and not a Wild Heart, but... Yeah, I can live with this. Maybe even an extra Command Knight. Just not a Wild Heart. Alright, so my monsters are decently weak now. That's a big problem, but we'll see what they do. It's sad that that card can beat me at the moment, but... Uh, what makes it even more sad is its attack stat is so low that I don't know if it's enough to take advantage of. I think it is, just because Warrior... Wow, you finally got a trap, eh? That's a jerk move. Oh wait, no, it gets weakened by it too. It's nowhere near enough. It's nowhere near enough. I have Dream Clown though. And plus, if I get their life points really low, I feel like there's a lot of value in that. So let's go ahead. Let's Brain Control. It might seem a little early, but it's fine. Sucks about Command Knight though. They're not going to last much longer. We're going to go ahead and summon Wild Heart. Wild Heart's a nice 1900, though it's not going to be staying so nice for very long. Yeah, if only we didn't all lose our attack stats, he would have already lost this duel. One MST could have saved me, but no luck. It's good, though. I need monsters in the grave for Pot of Avarice. I get Pot of Avarice, I win duel. And he still doesn't have a single reptile in the grave, so I'm not worried. Yeah, Wild Heart is about to get super weak, though. That is uh, that is a fact of life. Let's see if, uh, let's see if they have a second good monster. Ah, oh, shit. Yep, that's more what I wanted to bring control. But uh, I didn't get the chance. The only reason I was cool with not going for it is because I knew I had Warrior Lady. And she'll keep me safe. Though I think I just drew my only Dream Clown. So now that I think about it, it's not as safe as I thought. But still pretty good, so it's fine. We just gotta play it slow and steady. Plus, they're, they're, they're dead. They lost that monster. That monster's decently weak. I could beat it next turn. Yeah. Ooh, that's pretty good. All right, reinforcements of the army. Let's see. What can I get? Stratos lost its value. I think Marauding Captain still has value, giving me two monster advantage. And even though their monster is going to be weaker than me next turn, it's not a bad idea to get Warrior Lady set up for the third monster they summon. Or the second monster they summon. Because look, they're at 850 now, so very killable. But let's see what else they got. An actual Venom card, that's a problem. Oh, and they got Premature Burial. Alright, Serpentine. This is why we have Warrior Lady. Yeah, understandable to put that in defense mode. Wait, are you all too afraid to attack me? You do know how big a waste of time you just did, right? If you're all too afraid to attack, why use any of them at all? I'm just gonna let you kill your own monsters. I'm not, I'm not gonna be a part of this. <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to be a part of this. I'll wait until uh, you're willing to attack me. And if you never are, who cares? You'll have less monsters than when you started. That premature burial cost you the duel, basically. Oh, I didn't even think about his attack being so low. I should have just went for it. Whoops. <laughs> Whatever. If they're too afraid of me, then that's fine. 
That oh, but that one card could be that snake with super high D up. Doesn't matter. All right. Um. Yeah, I think we can go all in. I'm gonna do this. Creature swap guarantees game, but there are two traps, so that's why I'm a little worried. I, I didn't have to flip Warrior Lady. I should have kept her face down in case one of those traps mattered. But I just want to be extra sure. I'm going to activate Creature Swap. Creature Swap, I don't care what you give me because I'm giving you this. Wow, your face down is the 2k defender, isn't it? And then Dream Clown, would you like to end this duel? Go ahead and try. Wow, they just let you. Yay! Even though he was kind of an annoying deck, we were able to beat Viper. Hyper Viper Beam. Yeah, no, it doesn't work out for you, buddy. Yeah, give me that money. So we're getting some, you know, getting some action with Viper here. That's pretty good. But uh, we have lots of new opponents I want to face, like Joey Wheeler, my favorite character of all time. This guy playing a luck-based deck for most of his life, having very basic cards, was always so fun to watch as a kid, and still winning duels with them. Plus, I like that he was strong, you know, he had that, that dual spirit. Without needing a spirit. He's just he was just a tough guy. Uh Giant Rap would be valuable, but just in case they have some sort of popping. I, it's Joey Wheeler. I don't know what I'm ready I uh, want to be prepared for, so I'm just gonna set. What does Joey have against me? What is his deck? Oh. Oh my god. Oh! Animation on the first turn! Summoning Red Eyes Black Dragon. Holy crap, it's my first time meeting Joey, and he already played a card better than Horus. I am impressed, and I will thank him for letting me borrow that card. I love me a Red Eyes. You all know that already. How many traps are we dealing with? Just one? Okay, heart of the cards, give me an MST. I would have even I would have taken a stamp in destruction. Uh, we're actually just gonna do this. We are gonna put these up. We're going to summon Horse just to see if they have any sort of trap card. I want to know what I'm up against. Nothing like that. I'm going to activate Creature Swap because this is hilarious. And with Creature Swap, we're going to get ourselves a good monster. Then we are going to go ahead and attack with said Horse. Get ourselves 2300 burn, basically. And Red Eyes Black Dragon, thank you for joining the correct side of the field. 24. Sorry, Joey. You're a great duelist, and I love you, but you're still a luck-based deck, and even if you could pull off Red Eyes on the first turn, what does that matter? Also, Horus level 6, it's time to evolve into Horus level 8. I love when a plan comes together. Alright, so no more spell cards for Joey. He has to win with just monsters and traps. And I'm sure he'll figure something out, because he's Joey goddamn Wheeler. But I did just get DD Warrior Lady, which guarantees game, no matter what that face down card is. So let's go for the guaranteed game. Oh. Oh, he runs that for Red Eyes. Fair enough. That makes a lot of sense. Well, Joey, I did some damage to myself because I'd never want to beat you perfectly. And I'm just going to banish our cards. Sorry, buddy. Red Eyes Black Dragon goes in. And I'm going to end it with my boss monster, Horus of the Black Flame. Good duel, buddy. Good duel. I love me a fast one. Ah, they made the Joey face. Okay. Good job, game designers. I haven't been able to say that in a long time. Good job. Your game's been a little asinine till now, but this, this, that was good. That was very good. I'm proud of you. I know your father never said that, but I, I'll say it. I'm proud of you. All right. So we defeated Joey Wheeler, which makes me feel good, but we haven't really messed with Tyranno that much. He did get a victory on us, but the problem with that was I was using my Outback deck, which was just made for a challenge. It wasn't made to win duels. Um, let's go ahead and see if I can beat him with a real deck that I've actually made. The D-Rider. All right, Dandelion with Jinzo is not the worst start. MST to make sure things don't get too hectic. Yep, I like it. I like it all. This hand is very good. As long as he doesn't have a card with more than 2,400 attack, which... If any character would, it would be Tyranno. He's got a lot of attack points. Yep. I'm ready for this one, though. Dan D. Tokens. I got lucky drawing this card so early. Alright. Come on, play a trap. Just one, though. Okay. This is just in case it's like Solemn Judgment or something. I don't want my freaking Jinzo to get hit by... Oh my god! I am so glad I did that. That was that was valuable. That was a valuable uh, card right there. 
Now, typically I would just preach a swap and go ham, right? But Tyranno is one of those guys that could just pull off a huge dinosaur if you're not careful. And I'm going to play carefully. Because if he pulls off that huge dinosaur, I want to be able to take it from him. If you're curious which one I'm talking about, there's a lot. But Ultimate Tyranno is the one I think is most iconic for him. Even though Superconductor Tyranno is also pretty insane. But most people think about that card when they think about the structure deck rather than Tyranno. Hi, Fur Hammerhead. Okay. I'll admit, I don't want to deal with a Hyper Hammerhead. Let's see if I can draw a Warrior Lady or a Giant Rat. Stratos. Interesting. I don't typically like doing this, but I keep drawing my one Dream Clown, not being able to use the Giant Rat combo, so let's use the Creature Swap. The only reason why I'm willing to do this so early is because Hyper Hammerhead is just that annoying. It is legit one of the better Dino cards from back in the day. If you ever ran dinosaur cards back in the day, Hyper Hammerhead was probably one of them. Especially since he was invented so early. Like, I, I can't remember which pack exactly, but it was probably one of the first four packs. Maybe first five packs. Alright, Hyper Hammerhead could deal with that face down no matter what it is. Horus level 6 would be fun, but I don't think I need it. Stratos might give me a wild heart just in case I, uh... I need to deal with some bullcrap later on, if he survives. Yeah. Can't kill you this turn, but I can get close. Hyper, you want to make sure it gets away? Oh, look, it's Black Stego. I take 500, but then Hyper Hammerhead shows just how valuable it is. Beautiful. I attack with Stratos. I attack with Jinzo. Now I need to draw a monster with 600 attack points. <laughs> that would be funny if I did, though. I don't think I own one, but that'd be funny. Well, I'm immune to traps. I have Heavy Storm for spell cards. Um, he just buffed up my Hyper Hammerhead. If that's Black Stego again, even Jinzo can beat it, so... Not really working out what he just tried. Oh, there's my Heavy Rat. Heavy Rat. God, Heavy Rat! Oh, they should make a card like that. No. There's my rat card. You know what? I don't need Wild Heart. Let's just go for Horus. I like Horus. Horus can't beat Black Stego with Jurassic World, but you know who can? Hyper Hammerhead. Use that dino power of yours. But Cooper, you're 500 life points. I, I don't care about winning with perfect life points. Even if it does give you a few extra bucks. What matters is winning. And Jinzo will do just that. All right, we beat Tyranno Hasselberry. We're, we're putting all three of these main characters in their place. Yeah, we got Viper, main one of the main villains of early Season 3. We got Tyranno, just a main uh, friend, I guess, of Season 2. And we got Joey Wheeler, like everybody's favorite uh, buddy of, of Yugi Muto. So let's go ahead and let's go back to Viper. He was the hardest one so far when it comes to timing. Everyone else I beat extremely quickly. Viper was like, uh-uh. Watch this crap. I'm gonna I'm gonna make you slow down because Venom Swamp on the first turn. But who knows? Maybe he won't get Venom Swamp this turn. <clears throat> this is a fun hand so far. With creature swap in hand. Let me get reinforcements ready. I do want Marauding Captain, that's for sure. But with Creature Swap in hand, I already know what I want to do. But I don't have a tribute this time, so Dandelion isn't as valuable. This one is, though. Because this one thins out my deck, whereas Dandelion just gives me more monsters. Alright, try to swamp me up. Oh, you don't have your swamp. You don't have your swamp. You're in trouble. You don't even know how much trouble you're in. Alright, Warrior Lady, you did your job. We don't really need you to uh, get me any monsters right now. I'm not looking for any of these. I just need more warrior ladies. Dream Clown will come. It's just not his time. Not for a 1400 beater monster, that's for sure. Now, some of those traps might be scary, but Wild Heart is here, so that's a, a nice little guarantee that things are going to be all right. Marauding Captain's like, don't worry, I brought a friend, and that friend is Wild Heart. And now that I have Wild Heart on the field, we're just going to start attacking. <clears throat> I'll admit that card will become a problem eventually. And it's kind of cool that he owns it since, you know, Snake, his deck's about snakes. It makes sense. 
One problem, though. That monster is not very good. It does stop two of my attacks, but it's just not very good. It's, it's, it's just, it's not gonna do it, so. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play a nice old... Do I have creature swap? Not yet. Not yet. What if he has a tribute? What if I see Venom Boa? I'll play Swords, and then we're gonna watch and see. Oh, wow, you actually are gonna negate that. I haven't seen anyone use that card in a minute. Okay. Uh, question is, do I creature swap early and just expect no Venom Boa? I think I do. I'm gonna do that. I creature swap early. You can have my Warrior Lady. Just don't tribute her. I need her alive. You can put her in defense mode if you want. <clears throat> I can't stop you from doing that, but I, I need her alive. Ha! Ah, I'll admit, that sucks for me, but at least it was a good play. And no. Alright. Another Serpentine Princess. You really just don't like my Marauding Captain. You son of a person. Alright, hopefully I draw another Beater Monster. I don't I don't want to not have it. I just need 1,300 attack. 17 will do. That's much better. I summon a monster with 1,700 attack. We're going to do some nice work right now. Take this Serpentine Princess. We got some good damage there on old Viper. Wildheart takes on a, one of our old friends. Sorry, Warrior Lady. Now that I don't have Marauding Captain, my uh, Dream Clown value has gone down for this play. So I might just go into one last Warrior Lady. Because if they summon another monster, I want them to kill Warrior Lady. Then, on main, then next turn, I'll be able to use Dream Clown. So it's actually more valuable. Yeah. So I've thinned out my deck of Warrior Ladies. That's the good news. The bad news is, who cares? I, 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 I need to win the duel. Ah, crap. I thought my weak monster would bait him. He is not baited. Rats of Giantness. Okay, Rats of Giantness it is. If that's a Serpentine Princess, that'll suck, but let's just hope it's not. Yeah, okay, he's used too many already. So now we're just dealing with some Venom stuff. Alright, let's attack for 15. And life is good. <clears throat> life is very, very good. They can't do much against us, everybody. All they can do is cry. Next turn, I win with just a bunch of level 4 monsters. And all I wanted him to do was destroy my warrior lady, but he just... he refuses to. Oh, not like that. Ew. Oh god, if he has a monster left over, I'm gonna be weak. He does not. Okay, he did that, but he's out of cards. Okay, it's all good, guys. We might be getting a little weak, but we're gonna get that five monster bonus, so that's always nice. Five monster bonus. Yeah, let's go for the five monster bonus. Alright, five monster bonus. Let's start attacking. A thousand, twelve, six, nine. Damn, so fine. Alright. I'm going to attack with you. I have exact damage bonus as well. That's the fun part. So let's do this. Let's do this. And don't forget about our friend over here in the corner. Their name is Dandelion. And Dandelion does a damn fine job. Sorry, Viper. Not much you could do about this. Yeah, my deck's not that bad, is it, huh? <laughs> All right. Last episode, we kind of got screwed out of a pack opening because the, you know, the game made me upset by making it take almost an hour just to beat that Venom challenge. So today, we're going to spend extra on packs. I'm going to spend a little more than I normally do. Ooh, I could buy the structure deck. I'm not going to. <laughs> just because I know you guys want me to, I'm not going to. You made a mistake by telling me the things you want in this life. Doing just that is what cost you. Alright. Magician Black Chaos Pack. Red Eyes Pack. Let's get a couple of these. Some classic packs. Let's get some of the newer packs. Okay. Let's get some of this. Let's get one more of these. Uh, I already have that. Give me some more of this. Uh, no. Yes, give me one of these. One of these. 
it's been a while, so yeah, one of these, and that's it. All right, yeah. Okay, here we go. Biggest pack opening we've had in a while. Let's see what we can pull. Yay! 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 No, I'm joking. None of that matters. <gasps> Yay! Thousand Dragon! Always good to see you. Okay, that one's for real. I like that card. Okay, the Pyro Deck, or Fire Deck Special. I already have swords. It's limited to one, so no thank you. Thank you, but no. Uh, let's see what else we can pull. Oh, Piece of Exodia. Sure. Pretty sure all those are limited, so thanks for the useless card. That is nice. Giant Trunade is a very nice card. Pretty sure it's limited, though, so no thank you. I know it's not in that two, in that Tag Force game I'm playing, but it is in this one. Alright, no new cards so far. That's a shame. That is a shame, not being able to pull a new card. Oh, Toon Table of Contents! Yes! Holy crap, finally some good news. I got a Toon card. The best. Now, I need three of them, but that's still amazing that I pulled one. Heart of the Underdog. Yay, normal decks rejoice. But no, Toon Table of Contents is the best thing I could have pulled there. That, that one card made up for the $2,000, I'm not going to lie. The rest of this can be garbage. And that Toon Table of Contents makes up for it. Uh, that's actually quite alright. Oh, Zaborg! No, that's pretty good. Zaborg is pretty good. Yeah, getting, uh, I would like another Summon Skull if you can give me one of those. No? You disagree? Okay. I'll find other ways to get it then. Uh, Tadpole, a Cheated Heart, and Silent Swordsman. Not bad. I used a Silent Swordsman deck for a small amount of time. More looking for uh, whatever I haven't already gotten. High Arm Dragon level 3. Not what I'm looking for. A lot of barrier statues. Oh, look, Shining Phoenix. Er, yeah. Shining Flare Wingman. I don't know why I said Phoenix. That's the other one. Cool. Cyber Tutu! Heck yeah, that's a new card, actually. That's wild. And I haven't opened this pack in forever, because we already did its stuff a long time ago. In the Let's Play. Yeah. So, we only got two new cards, but two table of contents made up for all that money I spent. Alright, guys. Please remember to like and subscribe. This has been a lot of fun. I can't wait to take out those opponents once and for all. And then, we will con uh, continue to unlock more monuments, and we will continue to do more tournaments in order to unlock more packs. I'll see you all then. Please remember to like and subscribe. And uh, don't forget that we do have a tournament this Saturday on Twitch. Please, I hope you all can make it there. I'm trying to hit 2,000 followers on Twitch. And we're very close. So, bye-bye, everybody.